So it's not really a secret that there has been this mass exodus from California that has been happening for years now. Of course, the news that always makes headlines are the stories of celebrities leaving, like when Joe Rogan moved his entire family out to Texas after penning a $100 million deal with Spotify, or Post Malone, who picked up a residence in a somewhat remote part of northern Utah after he said he needed to get away from all the noise. Or of course, then there's Elon Musk, who sold a bunch of his California homes and now is supposedly living in a 375 square foot tiny home in Texas. But the thing is, we are seeing way more than just these celebrities leaving California. In fact, the exodus is so severe that now for two years in a row, the state has actually seen a decline in population, which is wild because the state hasn't seen a year over year decline in population in over a hundred years. I covered this topic a couple years back on the channel, but I've had a few requests to do a follow-up. I guess you guys are just wondering if people are still leaving California, and those of you who live in California know, yes, people are still leaving, and we we know why. But for everybody else out here in the world who doesn't live out there, let's talk about why so many people are leaving California, why the exodus seems to be accelerated, and then what this means for the future of the state. Now, if you've never been to California before, or you just don't know much about the state, I'm gonna start all this off by saying that geographically speaking, California is pretty awesome. Stretching almost 900 miles along the western side of the United States, California is filled with mountains, forests, deserts, and beaches, and the closer you are to the ocean, of course, the better the climate and lifestyle. The state of California has had a population creeping up close to 40 million people over the past 10 years, which by the way, makes them the most populated state in the US by far, with Texas coming in second with around 30 million people, and then Florida coming in third at around 22 million people. The primary drivers for why the population has gotten so out of control over the years in California really fizzles down to three things, and that is the climate, the economic opportunities, and the pursuit of the California dream. As far as weather is concerned, just looking at Los Angeles, for example, because LA is where the largest concentration of people live, you have an average high temperature ranging from 68 degrees to 85 degrees in the heat of the summer, and then the average year-round low temperature ranges from 49 degrees to 66 degrees. There are not a whole lot of places in the United States that have weather that's that comfortable year-round. As far as economic opportunities are concerned, California has the highest number of millionaire households in the United States with 1.14 million households having a million dollars or more. So clearly there's a lot of opportunity out there to make a good living. And the last factor is the California dream, which is a psychological motivation to gain wealth or fame in a new land, which back in the late 1800s, California was known as a place to do just that because of the gold rush. After the gold rush though, this evolved more into the promise of good weather, a career modeling or acting, or just being able to migrate out to California to have a sense of belonging. Some may argue that the California dream has kind of lost its spark, and I would tend to agree with that assumption, but next we need to move on to why so many people are leaving the state versus migrating there. Cost of living is the first reason that people are leaving California, and this one definitely ranks high on the list. According to a 2020 cost of living index, the average city in California has a 38% higher cost of living than the average city in the nation. So that idea of going out to California to pursue the dream and become a millionaire is great, but you're also going to need to spend a lot to keep up with the Joneses. See, cost of living is typically looked at based on the cost of groceries, healthcare, housing, utilities, and transportation. And believe it or not, California ranks far more expensive than average in every single one of these categories with one exception, which is healthcare. If you're out there in California, but you want to live in a more affordable part of town, of course you can move inland, but then you'll be dealing with much warmer weather, less job opportunities, and all the things that are great about California, like the beaches and attractions, will be way less accessible. So some people think that if you're moving inland, you might as well just leave California altogether. Next on our list of why so many people are leaving the state of California, and this is another big one, is the homelessness problem. As of the last report, there were over 160,000 people who were counted as homeless in California, which is almost sure to be an undercount because 
Accounting for all homeless people is a near impossible task. This is a number, by the way, that has been rising at a pace of five to 10% per year for the past 10 years now. The homeless problem is a loaded topic in and of itself, and we're not gonna get too into the weeds on that topic in this video. But the thing is, the homeless problem is actually causing two different groups of people to leave the state. The first group is, of course, the homeless people themselves, because if they became homeless due to the high cost of living, then it might make sense for them to flee to a more affordable state. But then the other group of people affected are the people who are not homeless. And because the homeless population has been driven up so much over recent years, those non-homeless people are also being driven out of the state. These Californians who are not homeless, but they're just over the homeless problem are just sick of driving down every street in town and seeing endless tents and encampments with the local government seeming to do not a whole lot about it. Moving on from the homeless concern, the next reason that people seem to be fleeing the state of California is due to high taxes. See, California gouges you just about every way they can from a tax standpoint, and that's a pretty tough pill to swallow for those that have lived out there a while. I found a report from this website, caltax.org, which summarizes the California tax situation perfectly. First, they look at the state sales tax at 7.25%, which is the highest statewide rate in the nation. Next, they look at taxes on manufacturing equipment, which come in at over 10% in most parts of the state, meaning that if you're a business trying to make products in California, it's going to cost you a lot more than other states. Gasoline tax is next. Californians pay over 68 cents per gallon at the pump for state and local taxes, and that is scheduled to increase again soon. And with the cost of gas per gallon already at around $6.40 out there, it's crazy to think that it has any more room to go. Up. We've got personal income tax next up on the list. Again, the highest in the nation here as well with a 13.3% tax rate for the highest earners in the state. And that's definitely why we see so many of these high paid celebrities leaving the state. I mean, if you're making 10 plus million dollars per year as an actor or as a public figure, it's gonna be tough to cough up that state income tax when you know that there's other states out there in the US who are charging a 0% state income tax rate. Next up is corporate income tax. This one is not the highest in the US, but it is the highest in the West at 8.84%, which is why we also see corporations leaving the state. And then last is property taxes, which are high, largely due to the high property values out in California. But for many Californians, these add up to tens of thousands of dollars per year. The most recent reason that people are choosing to leave California, and this is another one that has been making a lot of headlines lately, is due to the rising crime rate. From people being arrested right on the streets of Beverly Hills for attacking and robbing innocent individuals who were just walking around, to homes in some of the riskier parts of town being broken into and raided while the owners are away to a dinner or on vacation, California, especially Southern California, has seen crime rates surge over the past year or so, and this is making a lot of residents fearful of how bad it can get. It's safe to say that all of these crimes of all shapes and sizes scattered all around the big cities of California are definitely driving a lot of people to flee to a safer state. Californians lost around 120,000 residents last year, and they lost around 180,000 residents the year prior. Now, to be clear, these totals do add up to the people who have left the state and people who have passed away either from the pandemic pandemic or for other reasons. So those are factors in this decline in population. But the migration out is no doubt an early indicator of Californians finally being fed up with everything that we talked about today. Even though they might get a perfect climate year round and easy access to the beach out there, it's just not worth it to stay in California anymore for a lot of people with it being so expensive and unsafe. Time will tell if we continue to see this population decline in California over the coming years, but something tells me that the people who do live out there in California are welcoming the decline. I mean, one thing's for sure, all these people leaving the state will certainly help with the congestion and traffic issues that they have out there. If you enjoyed the episode today, guys, if you could hit that thumbs up button down below or leave a comment before you go, I'd really appreciate it. And remember to subscribe as well if you're not already a subscriber. I'm putting new real estate related videos just like this one out every week, but that's all I've got for you guys this time. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, see ya.